Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Commander Clash. This week we're playing with the new Fallout Commander Precons. Let's see what everyone's running. Hey it's Phil and today we're going to conquer the wastelands with Caesar Legion's Emperor. Hi I'm Richard and I'm playing the Mutant Menace deck. The deck is all about giving everyone radiation and profiting off of that so it should be pretty sweet. Yo what's up? This week we're going to be playing Dog Meat Ever Loyal. As a dog haver, you know I had to play the good boy in this weird Fallout world. I don't know, I've only ever played two hours of New Vegas, so let's see what we do. We are an aura deck, artifact equipment deck, Voltron it up, have one giant scary dog. I'm Seth and I'm playing the new Jeskai energy theme, Dr. Madison Lee Precon, which means I'm gonna be casting a bunch of artifacts and hopefully turning them into energy. This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at ultimateguard.com and you can purchase all your cards over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at mtggoldfishmerch.com and liking and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Three, two, one. Clash, Clash on. on. Chan. Oh, God, the syncing was terrible. There's always. Oh, I'm going to delay more because you guys are always behind me, but it still didn't work. <laughs> Did everyone just want to not say it and just left me out? No. Is that what that <laughs> I have to make my deck authentic, so I'm taking dog hair from my dog and I'm putting it in my sleeve. Uh, there, there you go. Right. I think that's Good a marked cool. card. Judd. Yeah, look at that. You can even see well, it. Well, Great. Just put your dog on the play mat. <laughs> Honestly, I would if you'd let me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a forest. Then I'm going to go ahead and play Soul Ring. Oh, jeez. Then I'm going to play Explorer what? Scope. That's it. Go ahead. What? Nice. So we agree we're all attacking Krim till he's dead then? Is that <laughs> I mean, wasn't, on isn't that always the case anyway? So what's the difference between now and then? Uh, <laughs> try land why does, pass. Why does Watsy do this? Why? I don't understand. Wait, what? The obsession soul with soul rings. Oh, Tap yeah. land go. Well, the good news is he can't play his commander. Is the soul yeah, it actually is kind of weird because my commander <laughs> is Naya. So I'm gonna play whatevs. Terramorphic Expanse and crack it for a swamp, and then I pass. I'm gonna untap all my stuff. I'll draw for turn. Oh, this is cool. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and play Sungrass Prairie, a signet land, if you would. Oh no. I'm gonna tap my <laughs> You can now uh, cast his commander. <laughs> I'll tap Soul Ring, right? And mm -hmm. then use one of the floating to then sink it into my signet land. So I have green, white, green. Oh, Sungrass so Prairie is uh does it have red? I'll just play Squirrel Nest. Oh, wait, is that a combo I, piece? Do we have to uh, <laughs> it is somewhere, but <laughs> I don't for think those who don't know craft in these decks. Yeah. Yeah. Enchanted land has tap create a green one one squirrel token. Pass. All right. Island. I'm going to far seek for something and then I'm going to pass. It's going to be a basic. <laughs> All right, I will untap and I'll play a command tower and a talisman of progress and you can go, Phil. I'm going to draw isolated chapel and just untapped and nice. a pretty good reprint actually. Here's a skull clamp with a funny artwork and go. I want a skull Ooh, clamp. Nice. All right, I'll untap, I'll draw, uh, I'll play a mountain. Uh, I'm going to tap my soul ring. So I have green, white, red, one floating. I'm going to play dog meat, ever loyal, with real dog hairs. Uh, when dog meat <laughs> enters the battlefield, mill five cards, uh, then return an aura or equipment uh, card from your graveyard to your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, thank God, I actually milled an aura. I get strong back. I'll tell you all about it when I play it, if I <laughs> play it. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the one colorless floating from Soul Ring. I'm going to go ahead and equip dog meat with uh, the thingy mabobber, the explorer scope. Also, dog meat has whenever a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped attacks, create a junk token. I'll go ahead and pass after that. I don't know what Krim's doing, but it's a lot of stuff over there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, scary. Hey, there there yeah, are I two guess. fetchable lands that are non basics. I grabbed the sunken hollow, by the way. Hey, Ooh. sweet. I wanted green mana, though, and there was nothing that could fetch green, which is unfortunate. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. Are you going to kill a dog? Oh, this thing. No, I'm going to cast a mutant, a master transcendent, okay? It's a 2 4. One ETB's target player gets two rad counters. I can tap it, put target creature in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield under my control. It's a green mutant with base power and toughness 3 3. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Phil, you get two radiation. All right. Counters. <laughs> That's pretty rad, dude. 
<laughs> I, just, I, I am done. All right. I will untap and draw. All right. I'm just going to play an island and tap all four of my manas. I'm going to play Ark. Cade Ganon. It's a 2-3 that taps to loot and gets a quest counter. And then uh, once during each of my turns, I can cast an artifact or human spell from my graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of quest counters on it. So it doesn't really do anything at the moment, but it could eventually, and you can go. All right. Good thing I didn't target right. Seth there. She's a graveyard <laughs> is everybody This is a weird card. It doesn't really synergize with my deck at all. I don't, or not much, but... At the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, if you have any red counters mill that many cards... For each non-land card mailed this way, you lose one life and a red counter. So I mail two cards. It's a land and a creature. Lose one and one life. One life you and one, one red life. counter. I'm going to feel to be radiated. A... The first clash member. That's fine. Yeah, about... You're radiating with joy, Phil. How powerful do you think that mechanic is? Mm, it's kind of little the sort of body and mind problem, right? Where you're like, oh, I hit you a little, but Sorry, I'm filling problem? your graveyard, which is how you. The zombie <laughs> that problem? can give you... A lot of mill count, um, radiation counters if it dies is cool, but the rest is kind of incremental in the middle. I'm just a little bit there's a sort of body and mind problem <laughs> in the I'm going to pay three mana and cast <laughs> Yes Man Personal Sec. <laughs> I can tap it and an opponent gains control of it and I draw two cards and then it gets a counter and when it leaves the battlefield, I create that many counters. Uh, go. All right, end of your turn. I'm pooping a squirrel out. All right. Yep. Sag, Evolving Aww. Wilds. All right. Aww. I'll be oh, you a good But I drew a tap land. I wanted that. All right. Yeah, I'll grab a planes. And then it comes into play tapped, unfortunately. I also don't know what half of my cards do, but we'll learn together. They do Fallout things, Krim. Oh, very, very, very helpful. Wait, you, you played Fallout, right? O only Seth and Krim have played Fallout here. Well, that's okay. I, I only bit. played two hours or three hours of New Vegas just oh. because I heard about the set. And my knowledge goes as far as giving a dog a new brain because you got to always <laughs> rescue the good boy. And I joined the Kings for it's... obvious reasons. Uh, Let me see here. Oh, no. This land being tapped is so annoying. Okay. Aww. I feel like you don't genuinely feel sad about me and it, for me and it hurts a little bit. And because of it, that, I think I'm going to clock you with something. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I'm going to go ahead and put what strong back on my dog. Equip abilities you have that target enchanted creature three or uh, that creature costs three less to activate. Aura spells you cast that target enchanted creature costs three less to cast. And it gets plus two plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. Uh, so it's getting plus four plus four right now. I am the most demir here. That gives me a free pass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seth did mock me for not having a tap land. So Seth, I'm going to hit you for seven. <laughs> oh, from, from making the attack with the head to making it with the heart. That's fine. I'll take for a seven. Uh, so I'm going to have some things going on here. Uh, when I attack, creatures uh, da, 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 or equipped attacks create a junk token. And then I have a scope trigger as well. Okay, sure. So can anyone kill this dog? Like Yo, that dog hey! is just gonna It's already a hey! seven, seven. And his stuff is three less to cast on any of soul rig. So, and he has card draw every turn. I, that's it, by the way. I'm done. Wait, wait, wait. I can do more. Hold on. This what costs no done? mana to actually act. Yeah, yeah. It's it's free to sack it's it and you card exile draw. the top card and you can play it. I'm going to pop my junk token. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exile the top card. I'm going to exile Vault 21, House Gambit. Two mana, which I will do. I get to play it. First chapter is discard a card, then draw a card. Then second chapter is the same. Third one is reveal up to five non-land cards from your graveyard or from your hand. For each of those cards that has the same mana value as another card revealed this way, create a treasure. I'm going to throw away armory paladin and draw a card okay your turn doggo needs to die i want to i want you to stare me in the eye seth a fellow dog owner <laughs> and then tell I'm, me you want the dog removed i just want the soul ring player to not run away with the game that's that's my goal it has nothing to do well, with my love know, of dogs you know it's soul the soul ring, ring player snowballing to a huge advantage <laughs> all right phil remember who's putrefying one yes man oh my yes God. sir all right yeah yeah <laughs> the dog.
It can't be regenerated. Yeah. In case yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. You, you got, got him. Got him. Right. Got I'm, him. I'm, I knew uh, I should have killed Richard. <laughs> Go ahead, Seth. I will untap. Seth, control. you're good. I don't care what it is now. We are going John you're Wick. You're not John Wick. I'm not afraid of you. All right. <laughs> you will be you're when just it comes to my turn. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to play my commander, which is Dr. Madison Lee. So it's a two, three. Whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get an energy. I pay an energy and tap it to give a creature plus one plus zero trample and hasten blend a turn. Pay three energy and tap it to draw a card. Pay five energy and tap it to reanimate an artifact from uh, my graveyard. And then I will play a sky cloud expanse and use that to make a white and a blue mana and play automated assembly line, which is an artifact that says whenever one or more artifact creatures I control do a combat damage to a player, I get an energy and I pay three energy to make a tap three, three robot artifact creature token. And then I will get an energy with uh, my commander. Do I want to attack? No, you can go, Phil. Oh, all right. I've got where, a where are you counting squirrel. energy, Seth? This oh, is a God. squirrel in the post-apocalyptic world, Seth, with Fallout. You know it's got some <laughs> weird disease. It's, yeah, it's toxic direction. in some way. Yeah, some <laughs> mutation. <laughs> I'm going to play a command tower. So, Richard, <laughs> would you give me my yep. yes man back if I give it to you once? And then sure. You oh, we're did you, doing did you trade. Radiate, though? We're you doing got radiate trade secrets. Oh, I got to radiate. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know trade secrets was happening. So two play Seth, uh, you see that? Dog lovers. Two dog players. lovers and, uh, versus secure trauma lovers. Tea, yeah. I am a corporate shill. Right. <laughs> Ask All me right. how I'm high I need to, to jump, Phil. <laughs> I'm going to tap the yes man. Target opponent gains control of yes man. And I draw two cards. I can only do this in my turn. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to draw I'm two such a cards. yes man. I have come prepared with a yes man token. Uh, yeah, I'm going to counter. cast a, another new card. Craig Boone, Novak Guard, uh, Reach Lifelink 3-3. Three, three. Uh, whenever you attack with two creatures, put two counters on this, quest counters. When you do, it deals damage equal to the number of quest counters to up to one target creature, unless that creature's controller takes the damage. So you can save your creatures if you want. For one mana, I'm going to equip the Skull Clamp. So now it's a 4-2 Lifelink Reach, and then I pass. Okay. I'm going to not dis... I'm not going to activate that ability. Oh, actually, hold on. I have to discard a card no matter what. Oh, it's not uh, okay. Fable. It's not Fable. So I'll ditch Well Rested, then I'll draw a card. Wait, is Well Rested a creature? No, it's an aura. Okay, then I don't care. Five. I'm going to play Dog Meat again. No. It's back. I'm going to mill five. Ooh. Okay, is, it... is there a creature in there? Uh, No. Two lands, Come on. three, three aura, <laughs> two, an instant, two auras. Do you just tap that, Richard, to reanimate something mm -hmm. it was milled? Is that it? It, be, it okay. becomes a three-three copy. No, I, I get it, but it becomes a three-three mutant. Okay, so That's a three-three pretty... version of something that yes. was milled. I just played a scavenger grounds. I'm gonna go ahead and equip explorer's scope. Seth, can I just attack for one with the squirrel? Don't let him kill it. <laughs> How do you feel about dogs, Grim? <laughs> I, sure, love, yes. I love. I love dogs. We, we, he's okay. a soul ring player. Okay. You just <sighs> said we have to kill him. <laughs> I don't have to reveal it. It's not a land. Block it. Oh, I, I get you're drawing all the cards. Away. That's that's what kind of changes the equation here. Is you're doing the back and forth. Oh, we each get to draw two extra every turn. So I, I feel like I need an ally <laughs> to keep I, up I, with I, the card I, advantage. I can't believe Seth. <laughs> Phil, I I, I agree with you. So I, I have to right. Where, so I draw, where do we I draw two. where do we land on lying in commander? <laughs> Would it be okay? Pass <laughs> <laughs> that a different direction. <laughs> oh wait, I get this. Oh um, no! Apparently, wizards didn't believe in giving me lands. That's called karma for blowing up a dog. We're gonna have to play the, the moth. Hey, moth man. Looks like a thing out of Doctor Who, but it's a four mana three three flying. When it ETBs are taxed, each player gets a rad counter. So radiate up, boys. Whenever one or more non land cards are milled, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures, where X is number of non land cards milled this. Way. So at the end of Richard's turn, I'm just going to tap my Arcade Ganon to loot real quick. Uh, and I'm going to discard this vehicle that doesn't look very good. Very readable uh, die over there. And I get a quest <laughs> counter on my, my thing. I just want to make sure it's readable for everyone. That's all. Uh, all right. I will untap and draw. Okay. I think we do this. I think we play the new magic Twitter card. I am going to play. Wait, wait did you radiate? Oh, okay. I mill a land to the radiation and I take zero because it was a land. So I will pay three mana and I'm going to play Nerd Rage. 
uh, <laughs> on Arcades, Arcade Ganon. So when ATVs, I draw two cards. The enchanted creature has, I have no max hand size. And whenever it attacks, if I have 10 or more cards in hand, it gets plus 10, plus 10 until end of turn. I will draw two cards. I'm... I'm going to play a, a Plains as my land for the turn, and I'm going to play what actually might be the most hyped card for this deck, I think. Uh, Nuka Cola Vending Ooh, Machine. Yeah. Uh -oh. So uh, that's an artifact, so I get an energy because of my commander. Pay one, tap it to make a food, and when I sack a food, I get a tap treasure. Seth needs I'll to pass. Go. <laughs> <laughs> He's the artifact energy deck with the best card on the battlefield. And I'm help. going to I just have radiate. A and it's a land. I'm not sure. And a lethal I'm not steam. sure how good that is so, in my deck. Look. One non land okay, card. So I get a creatures. Mothman trigger. So I can put one counter somewhere. I'm just going to put it on the Mothman. Do you also want a Yes Man trigger, Richard? Same deal. I don't no. know, man. You're getting me a lot of heat, but no. I, I'm mana screwed. So I guess I'll take it. Gotta get the <laughs> oh land. Boy. All right. Team Three dog, contests. team dog. All right, me and you, Krim. I'm gonna right. draw two. We don't need, Bat we don't need cards. We have dogs. Well, you can't give it to Seth. Seth's gonna nerd rage us. <laughs> Seth is up in the flash. Yeah, you probably. You, I only have four right now, but yeah, you probably don't want to give it to me. I'm going to play a soul ring and hey. a. Am I Blades? still a threat now? Since <laughs> Phil's got one for three mana, I'm gonna play another reprint. Bastion of Remembrance. Whenever a creature you control dies, oh. each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Actually, a pretty good reprint. When it enters the battlefield, I get a white human soldier. So, oh, it's so much text. Uh, I guess I'll just cast this because I can. What does it do, though? It's Overseer of Vault 76. When it or another creature with power three or less enters the battlefield under your control, put a quest counter on it. And at the beginning of combat of your turn, you may remove three quest counters from among permanents you control. When you do, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control and they gain vigilance. Pass. I'm going to make a squirrel. All right, so I'm going to draw. So then now I'm going to mill, right? Ooh, an equipment. And then I lose one. Mothman trigger. Yep. And then so now my saga is going to go off. Uh, reveal up to five non-land cards from your hand. For each of those cards that has the same mana value as another card, uh, reveal this way, create a treasure token. So if I reveal two twos, two threes, I get mm. two treasure tokens or four treasures. I think it'd be four. Yeah, they'd be four? each other, okay. right? Cool. So I'll get four treasures then. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is bad. He's gonna one shot us. Hey, I'm on Team Dog at the moment, so <laughs> yeah. Don't don't Dude, you I'm worry about this. Clip this death. for the moment you <laughs> viscerally kill the biggest dog you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna spend two white on that treasure. I'm gonna play Pure Steel Paladin. Crim's actually still a little scary with Pure Steel. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. green Seems like you take care of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Strong back. And then let's go ahead and use the white floating from the signet land. Treasure, like to float for green, this is white, and then use the white that was floating. I'm going to play almost perfect. So <laughs> enchanted oh, creature has base power and toughness 9 and 10, indestructible. Oh, God. You are definitely going to get hit right now. <laughs> Indestructible is not very good in normal commander, but here in precon commander, that's pretty pretty. Yeah, precon, precon commander, commander. Is yeah. pretty good. <laughs> well, Richard, you're going to get hit by dog meat. Explorer scope squirrel is going to swing at Seth. Dog meat will get me two junk tokens because as long as a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped attacks create a junk token. Now we're I'm... gonna have explorer scope. It is a land. We put on battlefield tapped. I was on team dog, but not team squirrel. I'm going to block it, the squirrel. Your dog, that arcade. artifact you have over there, Seth? Should I spite <laughs> just blow up one of those artifacts? Or Maybe should... you want. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm not. I just noticed I have one radiation from the wise man. Apparently, I radiate myself. Mothman blocks. Then I'm just going to go ahead and move my explorer scope over to another token. A squirrel token. And then mm -hmm. I pat. Okay. Yeah, let's all kill the soul ring. And you have what? Two two junks now from this turn? <laughs> three. I have three junks. Three junks now. Oh, okay. There they are. So I'm going to draw for the turn and then radiation will happen. It is an instant. It's contaminated drink. Uh, so I'm going to take a damage. There's my radiation. I guess we yes man back to Phil. Hey. Since we agreed. Back home. <laughs> let's see if I can find uh... a fifth land. <laughs> 
I'm going to respond. You know Phil's aristocrats, right? Why are you killing this? <laughs> <laughs> well, because you two are you playing guys are drawing so many cards. It's and trade secrets. I have four Very mana. slow trade secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, you're just letting Phil down. get into it. I think he wants this to happen. Okay. Target artifact or enchantment gets destroyed. Then I create another junk token. I get three tapped soldiers then. I will play Terramorphic Expanse. <clears throat> which is terrible. Uh, sorry, I, I think I missed the trigger here. So whenever Overseer or another creature with power three or less enters the battlefield under your control, put a quest count on this. So three creatures enter. So three counters, right? I'm going to play Vexing Radgull. So it's a two mana one two bird. When it deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two rad counters if they don't have any rad counters and then otherwise uh, proliferate. I'm going to cast Rampant Growth and I'm going to crack Terramorphic Expanse and shortcut that and pass the turn. So I'm going to grab two basics. I will untap and draw. And then I have the Silly Radiation counter. So I'm going to mill a soul ring, get rid of the radiation, lose a life. All right. So step one, I'm going to tap this talisman. I'm going to use my Arcade Ganon to cast my soul ring from the graveyard. And that will trigger my Dr. Madison Lee to give me another energy. All right, I'm going to spend five mana. I'm going to cast Sentinel Sarah Lions. So it's a five mana, four, four haster. As long as an artifact ETB under my control this turn, creatures I control get plus two, plus two. And when it attacks with at least two other creatures, it deals damage equal to the number of artifacts I control to target player. So it's technically a six, six. And my other stuff gets bigger as well this turn because I had the soul ring enter the battlefield. I'm going to go to combat. That's right, dog hmm. lover. You know who the threat is. I know the correct <laughs> attack, but I'm also a little worried about the, the backlash. I can tell right. you that I have a way to find Trample right now. Krim, just a little off the top. I'm not swinging with all my team. I need these things back. So I'm just going to attack you for six with the uh, Sentinel. Okay. And then I will pass to Phil's turn. Ooh, yes. Ooh, is that Draw. double blue up? Radiation. It is technically double blue. It's another it's land. Not, wow, I am blue. sitting it's on this. This mechanic counter. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like real radiation, right? You don't die instantly. You just yeah. die 10 years from now. Good point. Yeah, very <laughs> slowly and painfully. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to play Powder Ganger with Squat. <laughs> Two. Okay, let me read the squad because I don't think we've seen it on Clash before. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may pay two any number of times. When this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. So I create two copies. So it's creature kicker, basically. And when it enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact. So this one gets three counters for... Uh, not first. It's mostly Seth's board and my soul ring. Yeah, is the master an artifact? Oh, yeah, oh. the master transcends it is an artifact for you. Oh, I did not know that was an artifact. I would have blown that up. I'm going to destroy the master, the assembly line. You're and killing Krim's, my master? Yeah, and Crim's soul ring, just so everybody You're making gets, job, gets it. Crim's job even easier for him? <laughs> uh, wait, let me think. One, two, three. All right. All right, all right. So I'm going to go into my combat, and at the beginning of combat of your turn, you may remove three quest counters from among permanents you control. When you do, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control and they gain vigilance. So I'm going to do a little oh, bit of this. So the black one is the number of these things and this is the counters. Oh my, that is kind of scary. Uh, Richard is looking a bit who <laughs> very often over there. I might. I got a one, two bird. Seth gets hit by the overseer of the vault. Krim gets the tokens and Craig Boone is coming at Richard. Craig Boone triggers. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, put two quest counters. Wow, the counters in this thing. Quest counters are blue. When you do, deals damage equal to the number of quest counters to one creature unless its controller takes the damage. So I'm going to target the pure steel paladin. I'll take the damage. Yeah, I get two life because it has life link. How much okay. is coming at me, Phil? So at you is one four four. At okay. Richard is a five three life link, and at Krim is four two twos. And I think I'll just pass. Wow, this is getting very complicated. Blue counters are quest counters. Black is number of copies and white. Uh, so you can do it again next turn, counters. right? Because you currently yeah. have four counters on. Yeah, this is going to happen every t Hey, this is kind of sweet, actually. I have Metalcraft, so I'm moving my Explorer Scope over to Doggo. I'm going to crack a junk. So junk. it's Canopy Vista. I'll play it. Sure. I'm going to crack another junk. You can cast that the rest of this turn, right? 
Yeah, for the rest of this turn. I'm going to crack another junk token. Uh, exactly. Path to Exile. I'm going to go ahead and get... So, get, read me your creatures, Phil. Oh, that's so much text. I only care about the two legendary ones. So, the Overseer gets a quest counter whenever a creature with power three or less enters the battlefield, and in my combat, I can remove three and do the thing. The other one shoots damage and has life link. It also has a Cuscat clip, yeah. I'll exile that one. All right. It's a path, so I get a land. I'll get a planes then. Go to combat. I'm going to attack with my dog at you, Phil. And then, so I'll have, a, I have two triggers. I'll make a junk token. I'll get another explorer scope. It is a land. So path of ancestry off the top. So it's plus two, plus four, plus six, with a base power of nine, ten. Let's say you play an Amber Cleave. 16 times two. <laughs> wow, I can't even block this. I'm Every just going to block with one, and you give the uh, trample. All right, sure. Damage happens. Bastion triggers. Everybody loses one. I gain one. Oh, God. I'm going to now go ahead and cast inventory management, all of that over to Pure Steel Paladin. Uh-huh. Now if Dogmeat dies, I get to bring it back and reanimate. Um, generate more card advantage. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. How big was that thing you blocked with, Phil? Just a 2-2? Two -two? Just a 2-2. Two -two. Dog meat doesn't die to losing the equipment, right? In order Ooh, to, okay. Correct. To three. Look at that tight play. That would be nice. Go ahead. Yeah. No, he wants it to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. This is a saffron all of mana base if I've ever seen. It. Every <laughs> land is tapped for no reason. <laughs> Screeching Scorch Beast. It's a six mana, five, five, flying menace. When it attacks, each player gets two rad counters. Whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, you may create that many 2-2 two -two black zombie mutant creature tokens. Do this only once each turn. I'm going to hit Seth with my Vexing Gull. You get two rad... Wait, oh, wait, hold on. He's the artifact deck, though. Yeah, you didn't hit me. That's fine. I'm, uh, I'll take it. Uh, well, I'm helping you, Seth. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sort We're of friends, body vibe. friends, hit. right? One damage. It's a, it's a lonely bird. And then I get two, two rad counters, okay? I'm going to play Fetid Pools Tapped because I have no oh, choice. Oh, baby. <laughs> Go ahead, Seth. All right, at the end of your turn, uh, I'm going to nuke a Cola Vending Machine for one mana to make a food, and then I'm going to loot with Arcade to get an experience counter. I'm going to discard a... It's artifact that's getting away with it. <laughs> I'm going to discard an Arcane Signet, uh, and then we'll untap everything. Draw radiation. And then uh, two rad counters, so mill two. It is a Mind Stone and Brotherhood Scribe. Look, it's Field of the Dead. All right, wow. so I take two. Tokens. I get rid of the radiation for now i'm going to cast sean father of synths so it's a five and a three four whenever i attack i create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of target attacking legendary creature you control other than sean except it's not legendary and it's a synth artifact creature in addition to its other types and then if this goes away i lose all the synths and then we will uh cast a Arcane Signet from our graveyard, thanks to uh, Arcade. That will also be an artifact, so all my stuff gets plus two, plus two this turn. I'm going to go to combat. Oh, and I also, yeah, I cast the Arcane Signet, so I get an energy from my commander. I mean, you just, you have to swing, you swing out at Phil, right? He's a 46. What's your biggest creature, Phil? Biggest would be a 4-4, four, four. then there's biggest of four, three four, threes right? and two twos. I'm going to swing at Phil with the Sentinel. So it's a 6-6 six, six at the moment. That's going to trigger Sean to make a copy of the Sentinel, cool. which will... Uh, now make them both 8-8s, eight because I'll have two of them in Artifact enter the battlefield this turn. I did not Scary attack with enough creatures to trigger its ability, <laughs> so it's just two 8-8s eight eights your way, Phil. I'm going to block with two 2-2s. Two Bastion's going to trigger, right? Bastion they don't have Trample, so we get drained for two. So I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry as my land for the turn, and then you can go, Phil. All right, let's see if I take this radiation all the way. And it is nope. It finally happened. Keep off the cards. Well, that's actually a cool reprint. I didn't know this. I take one. Cat triggers. I'm going to attempt to equip this overseer with a skull clamp. I'll respond. Anything? I'm going to play Commander Sophia de Guerre. When Sophia <laughs> enters the battlefield, oh, yeah, that's destroy up to one target legendary permanent. That permanent's yep. controller creates a junk token. I'll blow up your thing. Mm -hmm. You get drained for one. Yep. Uh, and I created a junk. I'm going to activate this junk and hope to find a land. It is not. It is Paladin Elizabeth. When it and at least two other creatures attack, draw a card, then you may 
put a creature card with mana value X or less from your hand on the battlefield tapped and attacking where X is its power. I guess I gotta cast this. Can't skip on the mana here. Spend three mana and play a Kellogg, like the cereal. <laughs> Kellogg's Dangerous Mind. Three mana, three, two, first strike, haste. When it attacks, create a treasure token. Kind of cool with first strike. Sacrifice five treasures, gain control of target creature for as long as you control Kellogg. I'm going to okay. uh, equip the Skull Clamp, if that's cool. Yeah. And now it's a 4-1 first strike. Orcish uh, Ballmasters. I guess I'll pass then. Good, 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 good. We're in the board stall. <laughs> spot before the artifact deck just combo wins. Legend, 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 legend. Well, okay, but some of them do say artifact. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to play Bassless Caller. So I'm going to oh. draw a card. Oh. Play a land. I'll and if Trample this. is involved, then it's... Oh. I'll equip. <laughs> okay, I can crack one one junk token. Oh, keeping the Oh, nice. Up. Fire Shrieker. I'll double play that. strike. strike. That's pretty good. So I'll play it. Uh-huh. I draw a card. I'm going to move the Fire Shrieker over to Pure Steel Paladin. And then the Bastless Caller actually over to Pure Steel Paladin. Then I'm going to attack Phil. <laughs> Trigger, get a junk, get a, a pretty scope. Pretty big. One, two, three, four, so Fiber on it. And it's a 9-10, so it's 19-20. I mean, I'm going to throw a soldier in front of it just to force you to use Trample. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So you Prim got gains so 19. You so gain 19. 19. And then you lose one, and I gain one. Everybody adds as So I gain 18. <sighs> I'm going to have to kill that Bastion. I'm moving all of this over to the good boy now. Uh, what I would like to do next is... I'm just playing Ian the Reckless. Whenever Ian the Reckless attacks, if it's modified, you may have it deal damage equal to its power to you and any target. That does sound <laughs> reckless. That, that, that's just like 20 damage just all whatever time it attacks. I'm just now moving the Fire Shrieker over. Actually, I'm going to move the, the Bassless Caller over to my Squirrel. Then I pass. So sweaty, maximizing every single life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm strategically planning for when I inevitably get hit by Phil here. Don't make me block with my dog. Phil, you, you just mm -hmm. don't have reach or flying, right? Mm -mm -mm. I take one, one damage. And two radiation. One damage coming at you. Two Isn't radiation. your other thing a flyer as well? The big one? It's on block. Oh, wait. Yeah, if he fills at 48. <laughs> we're we're going to so send two of them. So everyone gets two radiation from attacking. And then when the Vexing Gull hits, I'm going to proliferate. So we'll have oh, three. So I have three. And you take six damage from combat, Phil. Yeah. I also get two radiation. And um, you want to proliferate yourself? I think there's a benefit, actually, right? Because then you mill yourself. I am not or proliferating any myself. Of my counters, yeah. Do I proliferate energy? No. And then we are going to Mothman. Ooh, that's a lot of radiation. So everybody gets one more radiation counter. Everyone else at four. Okay, we're all nice and radiated now. We're back. We're back in universe, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, toxic. Go ahead, Seth. <laughs> uh, all right. So then your turn. Uh, nuclear cold vending machine to make food number two. And then I'm going to tap my commander and spend three energy to draw a card. And then I'm going to tap Arcades or Arcade to loot. Uh, so I'm going to discard a mountain and then I'm going to use my last mana to cycle basic land cycle and ash barons and get a, I think a mountain that I just discarded actually. <laughs> deck thinning. I got to thin the deck and do we dead? radiation <laughs> things. No. You can no, copy no, no, no. your legendaries again. I can copy another legendary potentially, which is kind of cool, but... I don't think you're anywhere near dead. Um, so I'm going to untap, draw for my turn, and then I will mill four because I'm radiated. Uh, one, two, three, and four. A saga, well, and island, three, right? intelligence, bobble, and a curie. So I'll take three so and lose Mothman three radiation. Triggers, the bat thing triggers. So Mothman distributes. So I can put one counter on three targets. Oh, no, I don't like this card at all. I think we have to do this now. I would like to wait a little longer, but one, I'd two, <laughs> three. No, I wish. Four, five, six, what is seven. He? It's I. What, what card is Cowboy that actually? Bebop, from Cowboy Bebop. It's I. Oh. I'm going to cast Wake the Past. Return all artifact cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. <laughs> Scary. Uh, there's uh, a few uh, artifacts in my remember graveyard. Remember who helps you resolves. feel your graveyard. <laughs> so I'm going to get a Mind Stone. I'm going to get back the automated assembly line. 
I'm gonna get this vehicle. Its power and toughness is equal to the number of artifacts I control. It has crew two and flying. I'm gonna get Curie, Emergent Intelligence. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I draw cards equal to its base power, and I pay one in a blue, exile a non-token artifact creature I control, and it becomes a copy of it, except it still has that ability of drawing cards. And a bobble, Intelligence bobble. So your whole team gets plus four, plus four? Because Everything you have has levels. plus four, plus four, yeah. I'm gonna play a Mountain as my land for the turn. I think we have to do some attacking. I feel but like I'm about to vigilance. die. They don't have vigilance. Yeah, that's a problem. I I do a big attack, but then I just get cracked back for so much. I'm going to use Sean to crew the Brothers Hood Vertibird, the vehicle. Its power is equal to the number of artifacts I control, which is currently 12 artifacts. Kram, if I, if I do a big attack at filler, you're going to kill me? No. We can't. I will do too. work together to kill Krim, though. If you attack Krim, <laughs> why, why didn't you ask me? <laughs> I feel left. I out. mean, I think I'm more worried about. Well, how many cards do you have in hand, Phil? Uh, I have that two. would be five. You have five. How many do you have, Regine? Seven. Okay, give me your vote on who's the scariest at the table. Krim, scariest. Seven. <laughs> Not including me out of, out of the city. I, I mean, I'm not going to check myself. Yeah. I think it's Phil. I mean, Richard Phil, obviously dude. is also a problem because he hasn't done anything. He hasn't been forced to actually <laughs> I'm do anything. I'm just scared because he hasn't done it. Yeah. He hasn't been forced to do anything. Both that's, you, that's me, and okay. Phil have First of sorry. all, I used the Putrefy, which gained Krim's wrath. Like, I remember that I did something. <laughs> You might not notice because Krim keeps attacking me, but once he has Trample, I don't know if he's sandbagging it. We all did. I don't. Did you declare you had a way of searching? Your I said I can try to look it up, but then I realized I don't know what that card does. I am going to swing it, Phil, one, two, uh, these three creatures. Uh, this is also going to trigger the Sean to make a uh, another copy. So I'm going to have two copies. When I attack, uh, these are going to put some plus triggers two, on plus two again. Yeah, so, they're, so right now all my creatures are getting plus six, plus six, because they have three of these, and I had an artifact enter the battlefield. So it's a 19 power flyer at the moment. When this attacks, they deal damage equal to the number of artifacts I control to target player. Oh, so right now, I think you can kill me if you want to. I think you can kill two people. No. So everything is attacking Phil. I get some triggers on the stack. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pay one. I'm going to activate my new Coca-Cola vending machine to make another food token. And then I'm going to pay uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cast Bottle Cap Blast. So this is a five minute instant, has improvised, deals five damage to any target. If excess damage was out that way to a permanent, I create that many tap treasure tokens. So I'm going to target your one to reckless thing two two one uh i get four treasures so all together i have they are tapped yes 18 artifacts so i have two things that will trigger to deal 18 damage to a target player all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send one of these triggers at you phil for 18 and then one of them at richard for 18 and then these creatures are still attacking you phil but my yeah. triggers have officially resolved but they're still coming your way so I'm going to tank the flyer. And then you just got to dodge the radiation. And then I Simple. block with everything. You gain some life from Bastion, right? So all of them die. Oh, so you're blocking them all in front of oh, one yeah. of them? Yeah, I need the life. <laughs> sure. well, you need to block the other one, too. Yeah, you need to, oh, I need to block the other three. one, yeah, too. There's uh, three yeah. of them going <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of them going in. It's still, yeah. it's still. This is four, seven. Two of them is 11, and then one of them. So one of them dies okay. due to 11. So one of them will die. Okay, so I will lose one, of the, one, one of the copies. We get drained one, one, two, right. yeah. three, so four. four. You down get to drained 15. for five, and I draw two cards because of Skull Clamp. And then you can go, Phil. Draw for turn. Then mill four. Of course, there's no land right now, so back down oh. to two. Oh. Four radiation <laughs> down to two. Oh my god! My Mothman, my thing triggers. I get four zombies, and I put four plus one plus one counters. On everything. Oh, oh sorry. One, four plus what? Four yeah. one counters. Yeah, you distribute yeah, yeah, yeah. four one one counters. Where very relax, important. relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and cast a martial coup for X oh, that's equals a wrap, isn't it? six. <laughs> yes. Create X yeah, white soldier rare. creature tokens. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. Any responses? I got nothing. No. Uh, I'm going to loot with arcade. Killed my dog. Now time to go John Wick on you. <laughs> yeah. Discard a land. It's fine, I guess. And yeah, sure. Then I'm going to equip the Scarlet Clan to one of them. So it dies. Everybody gets drained. I draw two. <laughs> okay, and then I have to discard to hand size. <laughs> Tampa and Talisman into the graveyard. That was one card too many. I'm going to take back the Talisman. And then I pass the turn. End of your turn, do you know what my favorite part about Fallout is? The mutated flying squirrels. All right, I make one. <laughs> there <Mine>. it is. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't fly. I'm going to draw. You mill four, you take one And then one you take for one for each non-land. Land. Well, I hit three. You take <laughs> three and you lose so three, three radiation. This radiation actually adds up. Well, now your boy's got to go ahead and attach Explorer Scope to the squirrel. The Fire Shrieker and the Collar to my Pierce Steel Paladin, I guess. I go to combat. I'm going to send this Paladin at Richard. Don't you want to kill... Except if oh, I, I said I, I, I promised him I wouldn't. Why? Well, I wouldn't kill him. <laughs> Why? So I, I, so I won't. But I will send one damage at you, Seth. Crim's a man of his word. All right, he's nine. literally he's attacking Seth, even though you declared he wasn't. Attacking I'm only hitting Seth. you for one. This is for the squirrel earlier. Do I take double strike or do I die in first strike? You'll die in first strike. Yeah. Okay. So you just gain first strike then, and then yeah. you're dead. So then I go up to I believe forty five. Do I keep my radiation? That doesn't go away with Richard, right? That's no. that's still mine. Just like John Wick promises, you know what I mean? Like John <laughs> Wick has always made his promises to those that have killed his dog. You know who hasn't killed the dog? Seth. So I have not killed John, the dog. I'm John dog Wick lover. remembers that. And so <laughs> what we're going to do is six. Leaving up scavenger grounds just because you never know what other nonsense Seth mm. might try to pull here. Uh, <laughs> what have been pretty good go nonsense, me? Let's go ahead and just play Megaton's Fate. And I'm going to choose Detonate. Megaton's what Fate deals eight do? damage to each creature. Each player gets four rad counters. Oh, oh, so so dead. <laughs> He's going to die to radiation. Right. I am going to get radiated on this game. Okay, so, right, so I don't have any creatures. Radiation. That, that is scary. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go up to five radiation. I'm now going to move the scope over to my pure steel paladin. Yeah, I'm actually supposed to have one more energy because an artifact creature dealt combat damage with this thing out. So it should actually be two energy, although that doesn't really change the equation here. I'm now going to go ahead and play Veronica Dissident Scribe then. I'm going to move all three equipments over now. Just Does Veronica case. do anything that no. kills me? When she attacks, I may discard a card. If I do, draw a card. It's got Menace. Whenever you discard okay. one or more non-land cards for the first time each turn, create a junk token. Go Sweet. ahead. All right, so I'm going to untap, draw. Do I need to crack a food in before I get radiated? Or you just say, you know what? You stare death in the eyes. You are pretty low, right? What are the what are the chances? What are the chances? You stare death in the eyes. You say, hell yeah! All right, I'm gonna, and you just I'm gonna, I'm gonna soul ring and crack food. Oh, <laughs> I will not stare death in the eyes. One, two, land three, See? land four. See, wow, I would have went to one. You would have went to one. one. Why were uh, you so even afraid? Red counters. They're not as rad as the name suggests. Uh, Who would think they'd be? More so how does this work? I kill Phil. And then, but I can help you kill I... Krim. The thing is, your thing is just killing that Bastion. That is, is true, yeah. Ruining my day. Bastion and Rad Counters, I think I've lost 30 life to those. Actually, I can deal with Krim's entire board. Mm -hmm. You can deal with Krim's entire board? If you don't kill me, if you don't like kill Phil, there's a chance that we just. Then you're definitely going to kill me. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. no. I, 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 I want to like try to kill Phil here. Because again. Uh... I'm on a hit list. If you if you I send a single creature at him. <laughs> the so I'm gonna play <laughs> I'm gonna play my commander. Remember John um, Wick? Okay. I wanna get everybody on the bucket list that has killed my dog. And there are two people. One of them is sitting out right now. So check. Since we at least got one person, like we promised. Sorry, Richard, we gotta crowd surf the carn here. <laughs> and then, uh, crowd surf on him. So also I missed this earlier. So when I sacked my food before the rad counters, I actually get a, another tap treasure token because of the vending machine there so i'm gonna i played my commander i'm gonna use it to crew the brotherhood vertibird a 14 power flyer and i'm gonna attack phil 
Aww. with the fire. All right. Why then... to me? Wait, you're mad that I that I no no I, I just um, wanted to, I wanted to make sure I got to uh, BM on my uh, like, when I got Phil for I had my a dog. Maths, mass edict in hand actually. Uh, so I get an energy from the artifact creature dealing damage. So I'm up to three. I'm gonna play a razor uh, tide bridge as my land for the turn artifact land, Art and then I'm gonna pass to Krim. All right, so what are, what, how am I going to lose? What nonsense was added to that deck? I'm going to also add a squirrel to the board. So now we're going to do the rad stuff. So I'll draw. Then mm. I'm going to mill mm -hmm. five. Five. Brass knuckles. One, swift foot two, boots. Tear more three, expanse. Chaos warp. Four. Single combat. Ooh. I'm going to take four. There's actually a lot of damage from these rad counters. I thought they were going to be kind of underpowered, but I've actually kind of impressed how much damage they've dealt, honestly. Am I allowed to look up the deck list to see if Settle the Wreckage is in this deck? <laughs> because Settle the Wreckage... I is a flavorful card. Yeah, don't bother to look it up. I don't have settle. I, I don't know if it's in the deck, but it's on my hand. I will tell you. Do you that, have honestly. ether spouts? Do you have ether rise? <laughs> These are I don't have any I don't have anything like that. Nothing like that is in my hand. Don't bother to look it up. I do have two cards in hand, but I don't have a any sort of sweeper effect. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what somebody with a sweeper effect would say. <laughs> so three, just in case you get wild over there and you decide you want to kill me on the crack back here. I'm going to play Behemoth Sledge, which is going to be Equip Creature Gets Plus 2 Plus 2, Trample a Life Link, Equip 3. I'm going to draw a card yep. from Pierce Steel. I would like to now move Behemoth Sledge over to Veronica. I'll crack a, a junk token. Mr. Gutsy. Whenever you cast an aura <laughs> or equipment, uh, put a 1-1 counter on Mr. Gutsy. Mm -hmm, uh, when sir. Mr. Gutsy See. dies, create an X, X junk token, where X is the number of 1-1 counters on it. Let's just play Mr. Gutsy now. Flying Squirrel is going to get 2-2 two, two in Life Link. <laughs> All right. Yep. And Trample. Spreading it out. And then we're going to go ahead and send Fire Shrieker over there as well. Actually, we knew, we, we, you know what? Because I can. Just look at this. Look at this. Free equip. Oh, I'm abusing <laughs> it. I'll move it back. You're just redoing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> All right. Delay of game. Right. <laughs> Warning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack. All three at you, Seth. I'm going to get. No junk tokens, but I am going to get one trigger from wherever it went, my little scope, which is a land. And then whenever uh, Veronica attacks, I may discard a card. If I do, draw a card. Whenever you discard one or more non-land cards for the first time each turn, create a junk token. I'm going to discard Arcane Signet, make a junk, draw a card. So the squirrel's a 3-3, three, three, trample lifelink, whatever. What are the, the sizes of the other two? Pure Steel Paladin is a 9-10 with two equipments on it, or enchantment auras yeah. on it. So it's going to be a 13-14. Uh, this is still just a 3-3. Three, three. Veronica's just a 3-3. Three, three with three, three, double, double strike, strike, death touch, and Menace. All right. So I think what I do here is... Reported if you lied to me. <laughs> no. So I said I didn't have a sweeper, and I really didn't. I do have a dispatch. Oh. So exile target creature. I have way more than uh, three artifacts. So it's exile target creature. I'm going to target the pure steel paladin with the dispatch. Spend two mana... Crack a food token, get a treasure token, two more mana, crack my other food token, get another treasure token, and gain six to go to ten. Currently, so then you're nine. gonna take nine. <clears throat> six and three, gain, so I go to one. I'll gain nine. Okay, so Wait, the white ones are gonna be the tap treasures, and then the black one's gonna be the untapped treasures. I'm gonna play rootbound crag, because I I didn't play a land. The cliff top retreat came off the thingy mabobber. Then I would like to cast Super Mutant Scavenger. One, it enters the battlefield or dies, return up to one target aura equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Well, not nice, but okay. I mean, in reality, it's easy for you to deal with my stuff, but almost perfect <laughs> is nice, so I'll just take an almost perfect. I only have one card in hand, Cram. I only have one card. That doesn't mean a thing. I could still die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you were. At the end of your turn, uh... Vending machine, make a food, oh, and then so I well. will untap. Yeah, the food's actually doing some work here. Untap and draw. Uh, I will crack my food to go up, go up to four. But let I it be known. radiation <laughs> for two. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the card? Are you surfing on me, Krim? I, wa um, I was. I think I'm still dead. I have two cards. One of them is this Rustville Bridge, which isn't very helpful. All right, I'm going to tap my commander, three energy to draw a card. That's not something. What does the Baba have to you? Uh, I'm down to one radiation. I can draw with the bobble, but it's five mana. I just have the intelligence bobble head at the moment. Spend another mana to sack this mind stone to draw another card. Hmm. I'm, oh, no. Are we, are we to bobbleheading? 
I'm going to pay five. Count? Uh, it's currently zero. I'm going right. to pay five. What and kind of oil do you this, use? I'm going to tap this intelligent bobblehead to draw a card. The real question is, do you still oh, believe that's, that's includable in any deck? <laughs> <laughs> I want more of them. I, they only put one in the deck. What are you doing with these precons, wizards? There should be seven of them, and this precon would be a banger. Um, I'm actually literally dead. Good game. I can play one blocker, but it's not going to do enough here. Oh! <laughs> Wow. Oh, shoot. GGs. Can we hear one for the good boys in the chat? The good boys come The good come boys through. are crowd surfing tonight, baby. <laughs> the new Kukul vending machine was pretty impressive. I will say that card, even in a not very oh, yeah. good or whatever deck, like that still was like keeping me in that game against all that life loss and radiation. So that card impressed me, but. Almost perfect, huh? Pretty good. In a Almost yeah. perfect. Coming yeah. down early. <laughs> Soul Ring on Turbo. Like nobody has to any win. interaction. Pretty good. <laughs> and actually, we let no, the Soul no, no. Ring player snowball. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the, believe it or not, I, I think it's heavy back or whatever, right? Because even if I didn't have Soul Ring, I had that. So it was always going to cost me three mana to play. Yeah, you, you hit that, two of your best ramp spells, I guess, to get yeah. down the always perfect early. Anyway, I believe that brings us to the end of our Fallout Precon Commander Clash. So so thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back next week with another pretty fun theme. So uh, definitely come back next week for that. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And this is the crew signing out.